F frame breakers of different amperages can be added to a 400 amp power stock panel. Refer to the Power Stock Plus reference guide under circuit breaker kits to determine which kit is required. This video will demonstrate how to install a sub feed breaker to a 400 amp top feed main lug main circuit breaker power stock panel. A copy of the bill of material required for this assembly can be printed from Bid Manager. For a first time install, replace the existing breaker cover and blank covers with the cover provided with the 225 amp sub feed breaker kit. Remove the dead front cover assembly by removing the four quarter 20 silver bolts holding the dead front in place. Remove and discard the main lug through feed lug insulation from the panel on the sub feed end of the chassis. Refer to the instructions supplied with the 225 amp sub feed breaker kit for proper installation position. Place breaker assembly onto the panel board using number 10 32 gold plated thread forming screws that come with the kit to secure a phase connector of the breaker assembly to a phase panel board bus but do not tighten. You are to repeat the same steps for B phase and C phase. Adjust breaker as needed for cosmetic fitting. Attach and tighten the breaker mounting bracket to the chassis rail using number 832 gold plated screws included in the kit. Tighten the bus connections on all three phases to the proper torque setting per the breaker instructions. Ensure that the breaker is securely tightened to the breaker mounting bracket by tightening the two Phillip head screws inside the recessed area of the breaker. Lastly, reinstall the dead front cover. Note that the breaker excussion does not protrude through the dead front. Thank you for watching the video on how to install a sub feed breaker in a 400 amp top feed main lug main circuit breaker power stock panel.